All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Chia. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault, and we are about to attack the third and, I believe, final uh, factory that we need to do so that we can uh, free Pops and all those other people. So we changed our look a little bit for this one, you know, just for fun. Let's cue up the music and we'll get right to it. Alright, so we got a full pack of rocks right now, which is great. That's going to enable us to uh, at least get a head start if we come across anything while we're entering the actual factory. As you can see, we got five fabric piles, 15 soldiers, and six sentinels, and there's our first soldier right there. Let's get ready to knock him out. Go, buddy. We're coming for you. Don't turn around. What the hell? There we go. Wasted one. Alright, so we have a sentry right up there. Let's just get up there and... Why are we stuck? Ah. Oh my god. Okay. Maybe we can get this first photograph done too while we're here. I see another sentry over there on the right. seen any more rocks yet but that doesn't mean they're not here so let's go ahead and get higher hit up this sentry got three soldiers down already and one sentinel sentinel not sentry whatever I think I see our first fabric pile oh, not quite Here we go. Yeah, still no, uh, still no stones. Let's kill this guy. Alright, so four soldiers down already. We are completely unarmed. There are some uh, fuel jerry cans down there, so if we need to go back and get them, we will, but I'd rather get the rocks if possible. Let's see if they got any in storage around here. Uh-oh. There we go. 
to take an alternate route in. There's quite a few of the bad guys over there. Sentry across that way. Let's see if there's any. Ooh, no. Oh, there's some rocks. buddy. fabric up here. Now that we know where to go, we can easily go reload on the rocks. Yeah, here's some fabric right here, so let's go ahead and knock that out. Alright, can we take a picture of that? right spot. Who sees us? Smoking these soldiers left and right. Another fabric pile here. Let's knock it out. Right, we gotta kill those two guys. They're really aggravating. There we go. Come on, Chia, you can do it.
Okay, so we got six soldiers left, two sentinels, and what, one fabric pile? And a couple photographs to take? We'll be alright. I thought we opened this. one picture down. Alright, so how do we get around here? Maybe you gotta run through this place. Let's see. Nope. It's not from the ground level. Here we go. the best, but, you know. Let's get these guys. Two for one. Got another one over here. I have a feeling we're going to be destroying batteries again. Can we get those? Perfect picture, just like that. Oh, hey. to do cut off the chains to free well, we still have a couple of other things to complete but we'll get them telling us to use a claw. Yeah. Oh, sorry, bird. A sharp, strong claw. There was a crab up here. I 
not gonna make me leave the area to go get an effing crab, are you? Uh, that would just be annoying. Alright, well, that might be what's happening. Maybe we'll get lucky and there's one down here somewhere. Any quabs? Oh, there's something. Nope, that's a bird. soldier to go. I think that's a pile. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a sentinel. And I think I see a pile of laundry too, which is great. He just destroy himself. That would be sweet, wouldn't it? Oh, come on. fabric and that'll be the fourth of the fabrics so that's cool so one sentinel one fabric and one soldier left and we need crabs to the locks which is weird so we got any running around in here I hope so man I really do I think I found the last of the soldiers fabrics up there. I think I just saw some crabs in here, right? crabs. There's four. So how does that work? Soul jump, okay. I bet, right? Cool. 
Cool. Okay. That wasn't nearly as challenging as I thought it would be. I mean, it was a little challenging just finding the crabs, but once we found them, everything else was pretty easy. There's a flying bird snake. Goodbye. So I guess we're going to chuck these crabs then. We're not going to need them anymore. Let's go ahead and... Go be free. Sorry about the trauma. stuck in a wall. Yeah, I feel like he's stuck in the wall. Well, thank God we don't have to kill him to complete this. We could just GTFO now. Find some high ground. This weird facility. But hey, there's another braided trinket. Why not? I like her guitar case. So yeah, we'll just follow the coast till we get to our boat, and then we'll head to the last location, and we'll stuff up those chimneys. Cliff is sheer. Finally got a decent amount of stamina. What did we start off with? Like 12 in the very beginning of the game? And it was brutal. Is this what I think it is? Campfire? Nope. It's a little distance, but we'll get there. Ma, ini kete go tiane chele. Ya se roupin. All right. Yeah, we're almost there. Have to see if we can fast travel too. I'm not sure if we'll be able to fast travel to something close by to where we need to go or if we're just going to have to boat it. Either way, we're going to get there and we're going to get this get this thing finished up with. The game's been alright, you know, it's 
it's fun in a lot of ways. It's also not fun in a lot of ways, but I mean, for the most part, once you figure things out, it's not too shabby, you know. Let's get it turned. So our goal is way over here. What is this? So there is a dock there. Uh, yeah, we should go backwards and go to the other dock and then fast travel. That'll be quicker. A lot quicker, actually. So we'll do that. So tell me down in the comments what you think of this game. Is it something you want to try out? It's, you know, it's cool. It's really pretty. It's got some great music to it. Uh, the characters are pretty good. Um, like I said, I did have a couple issues with, you know, the whole LGBT agenda. That This one felt like pandering. It was kind of a little annoying, especially being at the girls' 12. I didn't like that. And, you know, I wouldn't have wanted to see her even with a boyfriend. Just, you know, let her go find her dad. But, whatever. You know, maybe in that culture... They get married at 12. I don't know, you know, <laughs> so really hard to say, but yeah, that really soured me on the game in some regards. The gameplay mechanics are, are fun. They're not the best, you know, they're not horrible either. Uh, what job? So, you know, it's got room for improvement, but for a little indie game, definitely not the worst. All right, there we go. So we'll fast travel over and we'll get ourselves in range of the other factory and then we'll be able to rock and roll and uh, hopefully uh, hopefully that's close to the end. I imagine we still got to fight that weird boss character. The one that ate my little brother or my twin brother. Was he a twin? I think he was a twin. And took my mother away. What a horrible story. I'll tell you, the, the things people tell their kids, you know, as far as stories go, are pretty brutal sometimes. I'm sure we're going to have a lot of killing to do here, you know, or, or a lot of burning, not killing, whatever. But. This is like the final factory, the big boss factory. Let's get in a little closer and we'll see just exactly what we're dealing with. It'll pop up on screen and tell us how much we have to do and how many things we have to destroy and all that fun stuff. 34 soldiers, 9 fabric piles, and 12 sentinels. Holy cow. That's a lot. Well, we got some decent amount of rocks to start us off, so that's a solid beginning at least. In any case, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Chia. Thanks for joining me, everyone. As always, I'm Cat to Beefy with the Game Vault. If you enjoyed this at all, please leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.